I haven't actually done a room based on it, but every time I pass jars of marshmallow fluff sauce <laughs> at the grocery store, I think that it would make an amazing scheme for a cottage. In fact, my cottage's color scheme is not far off, but it's just a beautifully designed label. And I just think food packaging, tea, tins, food packaging always has great design ideas. I'm really into hand-blown color glass these days. I really like the modern aesthetic and just how delicate it looks. The kind of smoky glass and jewel tones, uh, the hand-blown technique, it really varies and creates a depth to a more modern look. What's really inspiring me right now is basically anything old and what a lot of people might consider junk. Something old that I want to either reinvent or just find a new home for. When you take something out of the context of a junk shop and put it into a beautiful home, it just looks like a million bucks. Right now I am really inspired by fall fashion, especially in Europe. Givenchy has these amazing suits. The layers are long and they're really graphic with like bright red patch pockets and things and it, it just feels really unexpected and fun and the shapes are all kind of new and colorful and creative and now it's becoming statement art. Big, solid, single pieces of art that are really bold and graphic, much like the prints in fashion and the layers. It seems like a real trend. What's inspiring me right now is tropical leaf print wallpapers and fabrics. That sort of started with this weird obsession I had with the Beverly Hills Hotel. They have a wallpaper there that's banana print wallpapers. It was put in there by an interior designer named Don Loper in 1942, and it's also in Indochine, which is a restaurant that was very hot in the 80s and is sort of getting a resurgence. It's that connection to this glamorous era, both in the 50s glamour, which had a real tropical connection, and then in the 80s too, which was so over the top and, you know, wild. I recently bought this book called Michael Taylor Interior Design. He is a designer who really was in prominence in the 70s and 80s. He's responsible for creating this look called the California look. Really overstuffed furniture and mixing antiques and lots of white, big lush plants, stone, a lot of really sort of earthy elements coming together in his interiors. I'm inspired by fashion designer Mara Hoffman. Her pieces are really feminine, but without being sweet. They're bold, colorful, and vibrant, and a lot of fun. Why I really love it is because it incorporates a few of my favorite trends right now, which are geometric patterns, florals, as well as embroidery. A bit of boldness, a bit of fun, a bit of whimsy, all in one. <laughs>